സൗന്ദര്യ സംരക്ഷണത്തിനൊപ്പം അമിത വണ്ണത്തിന് പരിഹാരം കൂടി നിർദ്ദേശിക്കുന്ന വി എൽ സി സി എന്ന സ്ഥാപനത്തിന്റെ സ്ഥാപകയും ചെയർപേഴ്സണുമായ വന്ദന ലുത്രിയാണ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ അതിഥി ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി എൺപത്തി ഒൻപതിൽ തുടങ്ങിയ വി എൽ സി സിക്ക് ഇന്ന് പതിമൂന്ന് രാജ്യങ്ങളിൽ ശാഖകളുണ്ട് വന്ദന ലുത്രയുമായി സംസാരിക്കുന്നത് വിനീത വി നമസ്കാരം വാർത്താ പ്രഭാതത്തിലേക്ക് എല്ലാ പ്രേക്ഷകർക്കും സ്വാഗതം ഓരോ നിമിഷവും ഓരോ ദിവസവും മാറുന്ന ഒരു ലോകമാണ് സൗന്ദര്യ ലോകം അങ്ങനെ ഏറ്റവും ചടുലമായ ആ ലോകത്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒരു ഇരുപത്തിയെട്ട് വർഷമായി ഒരു വിജയഗാഥ തന്നെ തുടരുന്ന ഒരു വനിതാ താരമാണ് ഇന്ന് നമുക്കൊപ്പം വാർത്താ പ്രഭാതത്തിൽ അതിഥിയായിരുത്തിയിരിക്കുന്നത് വി എൽ സി സിയുടെ ഫൗണ്ടറും ചെയർപേഴ്സണുമായ വന്ദന ലൂത്ര ഇസ് ജോയിനിങ് വിത്ത് മാം ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്ലഷർ ടു ഹാവ് യു വിത്ത് ആസ് ഓൺ ദിസ് ഷോ വെൽക്കം വെൽക്കം ടു ആ ഷോ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് എൻ നമസ്കാർ സോ മാം ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വിത്ത് എ വെരി ന്യൂ ട്രെൻഡ്സ് ഇൻ ദ ബ്യൂട്ടി വേൾഡ് സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഓൾ അറൌണ്ട് അക്രോസ് ദ ഗ്ലോബ് ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് വർക്ക് മെനി ഇയേഴ്സ് ബാക്ക് യു നോ ദിസ് ഹോൾ തിങ് അറൌണ്ട് ബ്യൂട്ടി വാസ് ലുക്ഡ് അപ്പോൺ ആസ് സംതിങ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് മോർ ഓൺ ദ ലക്ഷറി സൈഡ് but uh, now with the trend has changed people are now it's become a way of life it's become a necessity uh, at the time i started there were hardly any women entrepreneurs women rather spend their money on their clothes and jewelry but now they want to look good for um, i would i would say for anti aging pigmentation and any problem uh, which the consumer has so today vlcc is ready to give any uh, to every solution i would say from uh, head to toe for any problem the consumer has so i think we are one brand that's evolved and we have a global presence um, i think uh, we are in about 13 countries now and uh, we work out of more than uh, 326 locations in uh, in uh, maybe 150 cities so we we have become a global brand and we work with more than 39 different nationalities so i think um, we are evolved because we are here to cater to the need of the consumers and we sort of our programs have become very successful and i think this is the only brand i would say which is in the wellness domain that actually can showcase these services the services side of the business with their products you start your uh, way on to this beauty world on long back 1989 after so long years of experience in this industry ma'am what difference do you feel Uh, among the attitude of the people on this concept of beauty world fashion and all at the time i started there were hardly any women entrepreneurs women rather spend their money on their clothes and jewelry but now they want to look good and more than anything else they want to have a healthy body with a positive mind and that can only happen when we talk about uh, uh, beauty being skin deep uh, then we say that nutrition is important so good nutrition is important so eating the right kind of food so which is good for the body as well as the skin what is the one line policy that you are following to be the successful person in the business and in personal life so what is your success mantra yeah i never i don't stop dreaming you're so right and i turned every dream into reality i believe in it and it's thanks to the lovely people we have in vlcc i hate to use the word employees i very proudly say i have a big lovely vlcc family and i'm the mother of the and the, the family and these lovely children who i have were more than 4500 children they love me like a mother so it's not only as a professional they look upon me but as a mother and i think it's it's a it's a connectivity we have and the love and warmth we have in vlcc is is actually led to the success of the brand so ma'am what is the biggest difficulty that you found when you started when you step into this industry well i think any business you start is a challenge and especially for a woman and that too for a uh, the first generation i was a first generation entrepreneur in my family so my father wanted me to join the government service but i said no i want to i want to create a business so coming from a very middle class family with no money and uh, for me arranging finance was very difficult and i i was a mother of two small children and it was very difficult yeah definitely to do the balancing act to manage the home manage the children because it becomes very difficult and um, yeah, but it all happened now it's it's all the past and uh, uh, i've only believed in one thing that if you have the confidence in yourself and you decide to succeed nobody can stop you in life so ma'am now you are here in trivandrum you have been kerala for two three times i guess so what is your connection with kerala and uh, the great trivandrum city well i would say kerala is beautiful and trivandrum this is my third visit here and i just simply love it it i think i love a place because of the people you people are so warm and i love the food i just enjoyed my rasam and rice red rice because i'm a i love uh, 
food you know and especially south indian food and my house perpetually has uh, a south indian meal every day like i have to have a dosa or sambar or rasam chawal uh, every day and i only eat red rice so i think there's a lot of things in common between <laughs> me and trivandrum and kerala and uh, therefore i feel very very connected and also because the business has done extremely well uh, we flourished here so obviously when you flourish anywhere you feel more and more indebted to the place so i owe the success of vlcc to the beautiful people here so ma'am what will be your uh, very advice for the very younger generation people they have so many doubts about their wellness health beauty etc 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 so what is the simple tip that you can give to our younger people younger lot of people where they go wrong is you know because they eat all the junk food and they have food which is not rich in fiber they don't drink enough water they don't use the right products they don't wear a sunblock so i think what they need to get is a discipline in life and i think for every household uh, i think the woman is is the role model if the woman is healthy the family is healthy so i think for the mother especially where especially families where the uh, you know where there's a tendency to put on weight the mother should actually lose weight first look nice and trendy and and uh, hep so the people around would feel very insecure so if you are healthy then the family is healthy you cook right for the family and you are the you are a counselor to the family and the motivator of the family to lose weight and for every young mother i would say instead of teaching your children a for aeroplane teach them a for apple tell them okay eat an apple with the skin that's how i teach my grandchildren and they eat all the fruit all the vegetables so i think from the beginning if uh, you know starting like with toddlers if they are given the right kind of nutrition and they 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 learn how to eat fruits and vegetables as they grow i think it becomes a part of their life so i think all these eating and indulging in wrong food and especially junk food is very bad occasionally okay we all eat out but it should not be a habit and secondly activity is very important if you keep eating and you don't move and you don't do any exercise then you put on weight and then you blame your genes of course genes do play an important role but uh, if you have your genetically you have a tendency to put on weight all the more you should be more conscious of not uh, of the fact that you could put on weight and eat cautiously but so i think um, at least walking at least 3 to 4 kilometers or going to a gym or doing some kind of yoga or any activity is very very important so this is my advice to the younger lot of people if they follow these two things they would have a healthy skin they would have beautiful hair like you have and they'll have a gorgeous smile like you have because you look so fit and you are happy and always smiling so i just want to see the smile back on many faces and i think health is your actual wealth you we keep running after materialistic things but if you focus on health there'll be no problem we'll always keep happy <laughs> what is your personal favorite outfits your fa favorite beauty tips and all i'm mostly in uh, in india i'm in traditional indian clothes but when i go overseas i have to dress up like everybody i wear a lot of westerns i wear casuals i go for picnics with my grandchildren i wear wear my jeans i do i adapt myself completely because i i feel that i can still afford to wear uh, you know everything i want to wear so i enjoy wearing uh, you know good clothes and um, i save every penny to buy good clothes not so much on jewelry but on clothes and i think uh, for me my fitness mantra is i would say um, exercise i do a lot of activity and i exercise i go to the gym at least 2 hours every day i eat um, regular meals like uh, not very frequent meals but every 3 hours i i'm 3 hours i must have something to eat and i eat healthy food i always make options to eat the right food and i think it is very very important so i'm you know it's important to look good it's important to wear clothes but what's the very point of wearing good clothes if you if you don't have a fit body so i I've, i've always tried to be healthy try to be slim and try to eat the right kind of food and it's not It's it's not difficult at all for me. So ma'am thank you so thank much. You so it was much. a pleasure to be with thank you. Thank you for inviting me on your thank show. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for. Thank you.